If you hate cops just because they're cops, the next time you get in trouble, call a crackhead. You just watched a snippet from an actual political ad released by incumbent Republican senator from Louisiana, John Kennedy. And I'm sure that you'll be surprised to know that the extended version of this ad wasn't any more substantive. Take a look. Violent crime is surging in Louisiana. Woke leaders blame the police. I blame the criminals. A mom should not have to look over her shoulder when she's pumping gas. I voted against the early release of violent criminals, and I opposed defunding the police. Look, if you hate cops just because they're cops, the next time you get in trouble, call a crackhead. I'm John Kennedy, and I approve this message. So the takeaway is that defunding the police bad and the wokists who cry defund the police bad, except the one thing that he cites as doing in his capacity as senator is he voted against the early release of violent criminals. OK, well, you understand why this is a problem, right? Because you're talking about this huge issue in your state, yet you've been the senator there and you've proposed no policy solutions and you're not talking about policy solutions in this ad. So what is the point of this ad? We'll get to that in a moment. But he's not necessarily wrong to point out the issues that Louisiana has. In fact, the 2021 New York Times article discussed a plethora of reasons as to why Louisiana has consistently had one of the highest murder rates in the nation. And they point to many things, historical factors and inherent lack of trust for the criminal justice system, especially with black voters. And on top of that, they talk about how black people in this state are simultaneously over-policed, but under-policed at the same time, Meaning that when it comes to minor infractions, black people are definitely over policed and over incarcerated. But when it comes to the murder rate, well, they're under policed in the sense that they don't dedicate resources to solve murders in black communities. And it's a number of other things, racial segregation, uh, poverty. On top of that, a lack of economic opportunity, employment discrimination for black people in Louisiana. And if you're going to claim that being tough on crime is the answer, well, they already have one of the highest rates of incarceration in the country. So simply cracking down on crime, throwing more police at the situation or not defunding them isn't going to help. But Kennedy isn't actually interested in solutions because Republicans like him, every time they're up for re-election, they'll point out the high crime rates, immigration, and they fear monger, but they don't actually want to solve these problems because then if these weren't issues then how would they galvanize their voters to support them worried about crime are you scared of immigrants well vote for me they don't actually want to solve this problem and on top of that what he said there was racist and this is what his democratic opponent gary chambers called out in a response video now this here is louisiana politics at its best but it's also racist as hell and he ain't say nothing about opioid addicts, meth addicts, none of that other stuff because he was trying to talk about a specific subset of people that he doesn't give a damn about serving in Louisiana since he's been elected. We need leaders who have real solutions to the problem in our communities, not cowards like John Kennedy who drop one-liners and do nothing on the job. You're a piece of trash. And he's absolutely correct about that. This was intended to be a racist dog whistle. John Kennedy knows specifically the voters that he's talking to. And for additional context, Laura Bassett of Jezebel explains, crackhead, of course, is a racist pejorative term that rose to popularity during the former president Richard Nixon's war on drugs when black people were arrested twice as often as white people for drug-related offenses. This was due in part to the way the justice system treated crack cocaine use differently from the more expensive powder. So make no mistake about it, Kennedy knows what he's doing here, and he is in this race trying to portray himself as a right-wing populist who is going against the establishment. Now, keep in mind, this is, an this is an incumbent senator. So for all intents and purposes, he is the establishment. But the establishment that he claims he's going against is the woke establishment. And since the woke establishment has flocked to Gary Chambers, then, you know, he's really the one who's this outsider who's going against the grain. Now, let's be clear, when he says woke, he's using that as a synonym for black. 
and he has consistently tried to portray himself as the little guy. For example, back in May, he actually lied about being outraised by Gary Chambers. Also, he can propagate this myth that the woke establishment is out to get him. And also, by trying to spread this claim that he's being out fundraised by Gary Chambers, who had a couple of ads go viral, well, then he can further solidify and add evidence to this claim that the woke establishment has united behind Gary Chambers. Therefore, he's in danger because everyone is out to get him. Therefore, he is the populist in this particular instance. But it's obvious that that is comical. And Gary Chambers has pointed out in uh, an earlier ad from this year that every single thing about John Kennedy is so fake and manufactured, right down to his accent. Take a look. I'm running for the U.S. Senate, and this is my opponent, John Kennedy. He used to be a Democrat that talked like this. Well, we have another program here at Treasury that we're very proud of. But then he became a Republican, switched accents, and now he talks like this. I will not let you down. I'd rather drink weed killer. Oh, and by the way, now he's good buddies with this guy. John Kennedy inspires people like this and has now raised $15 million to keep ruining Louisiana. We need to build a grassroots movement to defeat John Kennedy and build the margins of the Democratic Party in the U.S. Senate. Chip in today. We are a long way from 15 million, but people power can catch up. Let's go to work. Avocado toast eating insiders on eat. Yeah. So everything about John Kennedy is fake. It's manufactured. It's synthetic, right? He adopted a fake accent to run as a Republican, and now he's claiming that he's going up against the uh, woke establishment. Now, he's saying these things because he's speaking a language that he knows the voters are going to like in that particular state. He's not trying to run on any substantive issue. He's not talking about fixes. He's just trying to fearmonger about crime and use racist dog whistles to attract certain kinds of voters in his state. And the sad thing is that it's probably going to work because this is currently a state that is deeply red and it would take a minor miracle for Gary Chambers to pull off a victory here. But just understand that these are the things that Republicans have to do because they don't have policy solutions. If you look at any type of ad by Democrats, especially progressive Democrats, but even some corporate Democrats, they stay focused on policies. Perhaps those policies aren't very good. Perhaps they're incremental policies that I don't necessarily agree with, but they're policies nonetheless. But when you look at Republican ads, they don't talk about anything but what you should be afraid of. They fearmonger. They claim that they're going against the woke agenda or the woke establishment, and there's no substance there. But they do that because one, they don't have set a substance, and two, because that's what's going to work. So yeah, this is the state of American politics in 2022, where Republicans are running ads that are so stupid, it's almost indistinguishable from parody at this point. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I built a successful chicken business. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I built a successful chicken business. I don't talk like a politician.